know me. No, I don't! Hello and welcome to this episode of Citizen Meta 1. Today we're going to be looking at how I made this little lightsaber scene with two metahumans. This is obviously the raw mocap from Rococo. And in real life I cannot force jump, so it's a little underwhelming. So the first thing we do is retarget the animation, get it onto two metahumans here. So you'll see the one on the right is doing the attacking, the one on the left is uh, defending. And they're each playing their own animation. This is my first time doing it with two metahumans. It was uh, pretty, pretty tricky. But what's cool about this is that each one of these uh, animation clips can be used again. So what I'm doing here is lining up the attack and the defend animation. And then to have him be able to push him back at the right time, I need to add a little bit of buffer or extra idle animation. So I grabbed another clip. And you can just kind of crossfade them together and they'll blend in between the two clips seamlessly like this. So uh, when you get this all lined up like this, here's the rough lineup, right? The attack and the defend, a little buffer, and then he pushes him off. And that's what the raw mocap looks like. From there, I am adding a lightsaber prop. You just add the prop as a, a class or a static mesh right into sequencer. And then you can attach it to the uh, metahuman, attach it to their body, maybe make a socket for their hand. That's what I did. And then uh, what you're seeing here is I'm actually animating the jump because I didn't jump very far in real life. So I'm using the body offset to actually make me jump higher and travel much further. Uh, next is to, of course, uh, because I've done that, all my hand positions are a little off. So I'm just going to go in, reposition all of the hand positions and specifically for the jump and attack. That's like the most important part to get going first and buffing it in. Uh, and then I had to go and, you know, clean up the hand positions for the defender. Uh, that's what I did first uh, after that. And then I basically, uh, I basically lined up the attacker's um, lightsaber to basically always be in contact with it which takes a little bit of time. And then you adjust the left hand to basically always be holding the end of the lightsaber. It takes a little bit of time. This whole thing was probably about, I think, uh, two hours of cleanup for me. So not too bad. Uh, you know, this makes like, you know, 15 seconds of footage. And uh, yeah. So here are the final shots. I went and added a little bit of facial animation. You basically just record the face and take recorder and then you bring it in as a clip and you put it in at the right time and then they talk which you'll see this guy deliver his line right here kind of hilarious and push him off and then here's the whole action with his line right here so that wraps it up for this video hope you enjoyed it and uh i'll see you on the next one peace